What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? It's your Ricochet, and I'm back with another freaking video, y'all. Now, today I'll be watching the 10 terrifying moments that happen on security cameras. So I'm not exactly sure what happened, but let's go ahead and already start this video. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Do this. Do this. Y'all keep showing the cruise. What y'all trying to say? What are y'all trying to tell me? Where are we going? What's up? From an out of control tire flying through a building, a tire, a massive earthquake rocking Indonesia, to the shocking moment a tornado passes a residential street, and you're just and outside. A hungry elephant bursts through a man's home. Here are ten Dang. terrifying moments that were caught on security cameras. Dang! Elephants just elephants do that? I thought elephants was the sweetest. I want to take pictures with elephants so bad. In Bendigo, I Australia, a city about two hours north of Melbourne, patrons Melbourne. at Goldfield Cycle Sports and Cafe Velo had their late-night drinks interrupted by an unexpected guest. On April 30th of 2021, around Ooh. 10 p.m., a rogue tire flew off a car during a freak accident outside the pub. Oh, CCTV gosh. footage Ooh. from inside the restaurant captured the tire's There's destructive and, journey and as it narrowly like missed people, tables, there, and everything. expensive decorations. If you've ever sat through Rubber, the French film about a murderous tire, you'd swear you're watching a deleted scene. A the tire, tire races across the parking lot and slips through a small opening in the sliding door. Ooh! It taps a hanging How is that possible? It bounces across the dining room and toward the back of the bar. A man walks through the door and enters the bathroom. Had he paused for two seconds, two seconds the out of control got tire hit. would have smacked him in the face. Finally, he didn't even the see tire nothing. bounces over the cash register and almost hits a worker before ending its rampage. The Dang. average tire weighs between 20 and 22 pounds. So tire imagine a 20-pound piece of rubber about the size of your chest careening toward you at 30 Woo. miles per hour. You'd probably dive out of the way, too. That's crazy. The Blunt Island Marine Terminal in Jacksonville, Florida, Florida. is one of the largest <laughs> Where one of my transport me? centers in yes, the United yes. States. Plenty of cargo moves in and out without a hitch every day. Well, every day except August 13th of 2008. On that fateful Wednesday afternoon, strong winds blew across the city. They were okay, so the, powerful this that kinda... they pushed a 950-ton container crane along its rail, causing it to crash into its neighbors. What happened next oh, went down wow. in Caribbean history as stop the it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Shaky CCTV footage shows port workers moving about. Business yeah, because usual. this is kind of horrible the footage. Lift guns it across the tarmac as the crane rolls in it's from the rolling. right. It crashes into the neighboring crane, causing a reaction similar Ooh, to Newton's crane. Hit, then hit, 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 the hit. first two cranes collapse oh, into a oh. twisted mess of steel. We Ooh, wish truck, some stop moving. from that truck driver's perspective. Each of those cranes cost about $6 million. Ooh. So there's $12 million out the window. The Jacksonville Port Authority had to pay an additional $1.6 million to clean the mess and repair the other affected cranes. That's Thankfully, oh, the cranes weren't in use and nobody was hurt during the collapse. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, good. On February 25th of 2022, okay. a 6.2 magnitude earthquake struck off the coast of West Sumatra, Indonesia. Patrons at a convenience store in the Pasaman Regency were going about their business when the ground began shaking. Uh -oh. CCTV footage from inside the store ooh, captured ooh, four terrifying shots as people ooh. fled for cover. All seems Crazy normal ones. as our cashier watches two children leave the store. Literally then just the left. earthquake strikes without warning causing everyone Jeff to flip. flip. The cashier grabs her child and runs for cover, but decides to hunker down between the shelves instead. We see the same scene. Girl, from another angle you see stuff falling? I'm not getting the down there between no shelves. The earthquake shelf. causes the image quality to drop. The third image shows how violent a 6.2 magnitude quake is as the Ooh. camera shakes out of control. The fourth camera, stationed outside the store, films two men fleeing into the street the safest place they could possibly be. Heck yeah, Finally, ain't nothing gonna fall on their head, of course. everyone shifting from normal to panicked simultaneously. 
Sadly, the Sumatra earthquake claimed at least 19 lives and injured oh. over 400 people. Residents and passengers oh. refused to walk away that. from their damaged homes, fearing the government wouldn't count them for reimbursement. I hate stuff like that. Tamil Nadu is a state in southern India, home to about 81.5 million people and okay. almost 2,800 elephants. Oh, I love elephants! To mention, well, some of those elephants like elephant. to integrate themselves among the locals. Samuel Babu and his family turned in for the night on June 26th of 2022. Okay, he had left some oil cakes not too out far. that he planned not to feed enough. his cows. But then, another massive animal stole them off the counter. Imagine it's almost 3 a.m. He is and you strong. hear something break through your kitchen wall. Through the whole wall. Expecting to find a team of home invaders. Take it all. to see an elephant trunk sniffing around your kitchen. It starts knocking pots and pans off the counter as it looks for something delicious to eat. Oh then, my the elephant God. gets tired of sniffing around, so it smashes a bigger hole oh. so it can see into the kitchen. From outside, oh. we watch the elephant grab a bag of flour or rice and try to eat it. The uh, poor guy doesn't yeah. realize he's just spilling it on the ground. Yeah, Samuel you don't want that. said his kitchen was totally damaged you during the that. snatch and grab. He's convinced the elephant smelt those oil cakes, causing it to break through the wall. Meanwhile, he oil and his cakes. family watched the entire ordeal off camera. That Thankfully, is crazy. Thankfully, no elephants or people were hurt during the making of this video. I wonder if they got to fix their house. Like, does that fall under insurance? With Norwegian, I have no idea. Wake up to a new city. Six. On April 29th of 2022, a severe tornado outbreak I do not know a lot of these places. Kansas and Nebraska. In Andover, a small Kansas town about I, 20 I, I, minutes east of Wichita, to travel so much a powerful more, I don't know a lot of this tornado stuff. tore across the ground for 21 terrifying minutes. 21 in one minutes? A couple's ring doorbell camera caught the storm it's going crazy. in the distance. For such a tiny camera, it captured some pretty compelling footage. It's going crazy. is huge i'll be in the house ducking for cover what do you mean oh you came out there to record some stuff huh i'll probably record too hey go mark i'll be out there recording the washington post between 50 and 100 homes recording. and businesses were damaged or destroyed during the storm the Andover YMCA took the brunt This is another thing why I need a basement. I want a basement just in case. From the just, we don't the get those out here, but like I said, I know for a fact they get them in the other areas where I said I wanted to move. Hour, as the storm traced a near a basement. 13-mile path of destruction across the ground. At its widest, the tornado measured 440 yards, or about four and a half football fields. Three people sustained injuries, Four and a half football but thankfully, that's nobody huge. lost their lives. Oh, that's amazing. Nobody lost their life. That's what I'm talking about. Amen. When she is an autonomous region of southern China, sharing a border with China. northeastern China. I definitely Vietnam. want to go to China. On August 17th definitely of 2017, just after 2 a.m., a massive the... sinkhole opened in the middle of the road. According to How? local media, just out of a nowhere. burst water main eroded the soil beneath, causing the road to collapse. However, wow. this story doubles as a comment on distracted driving and how dangerous it can be. Imagine being so distracted by your phone that you neglect to right, see to a see massive that. hole in the ground. Or be blind like me, because I definitely want to see that. The crosswalk I captures see the it. moment when the street caves in. Thankfully, nobody was driving through the intersection when hey, it collapsed. Man. You see, would this think is like good, also two good, eyes could like, see it up ahead. Maybe if Good our moment, scooter driver the same wasn't time. checking his like, phone, close calls. he would have noticed I would watch a 16 video on close foot calls. hole in the ground. Instead, he drives into it and disappears like a Sir, the how did you not, you at all people not see that? What were you doing? Neither can we. Thankfully, the driver was able to climb out uninjured. Though oh, we good. can't say for sure what happened to his scooter. According that to scooter reports, long. the sinkhole was 16 feet wide, 26 feet long, and more than 6 feet deep. Woo! That is crazy. In a motorcycle, like that, I understand like if a car didn't see it, which that's still, that, that was so long, you have to see that. 
Every but a motorcycle? What are you and doing? What are you looking at? Mistakes could spell financial catastrophe. On September 21st of 2021, this noodle shop owner in Sung Noen, Thailand, shop, drew shop. the crap end of the stick. The owner said they were getting ready to open around <gasps> 6 a.m. when a pipe burst beneath the street, uh -oh. causing a powerful geyser to shoot up and flood the area. Ooh. Their dining room was underwater before they even knew what happened. I, the duo I on see a that. motorbike drives away just as the flooding begins. Well, Inside the restaurant, we can see the water moving loose objects as the employees scramble to salvage what they can. Unfortunately, all that water filled the restaurant with mud, Aww. and the staff spent the rest of the day scooping thick brown sludge off the floor. According Gotta to reports, close it down and clean the up. property damage wasn't that bad. We can assume the noodle shop was back up and running within the next few days. Yeah, I was Hopefully, saying, give it a few days. Still open a lot of, of clean up stuff. I, I hope it's still open. I hope it didn't mess up their business. I, I always want all businesses to flourish. Okay, all businesses flourish. Number in three. In Dora, Australia, a small town in, in northwestern Australia. Victoria, a massive I definitely dust want to visit Australia. storm loomed overhead, turning day to night in a matter of minutes. It was day around 5 p.m. Oh, look at all that was shining and dust, dirt. Normal until people noticed an ominous cloud moving across the horizon. It's just One swallowing man said up it things. It seemed to be swallowing Mildura. Boom! I said that. Been more spot on. A stationary camera films Ooh, the dust cloud as in the it house. The in the house, you can't see anything through the thick dust. Soon, you can't see anything at all. It looks what? like what the happened? sun randomly sets, with the only light coming from the lamp post and passing cars. Though we can't imagine those drivers could see anything. In oh, front literally, of them. it literally the, the next day, and the sun shines through. Oh, it turns the next out day. sunset <laughs> was right around the corner anyway. It yeah. took about 20 minutes for the cloud to pass, with some calling it the worst dust cloud Mildura's seen in 40 years. I've never Meanwhile, seen that ever. Meanwhile, staff at a local car dealership scrambled to clean 100 cars coated in what the owner called I a chocolate one brown film. Because I do not make it to no uh, car place with the vacuum stuff. So I need that. Anna I need that. A we have one, but don't work good. I need a new Ohio, one. And home to about 1,500 people. On January 7th of 2020, a house fire broke out on Route uh -oh. 17, better God known as Sydney Freiburg Road to locals. The fire began in the garage around 3.30, and the 911 call came in two minutes later. The homeowner's son ran out the front door and looked back at the smoking house. He wisely thought to move their truck away from the blaze while on the phone with someone. Perhaps his parents or the fire department. Ooh. Moments later, the fire engulfs the garage oh. and causes several bullets to ignite and explode. Firefighters bullets? finally arrived on the scene and began battling the blaze. Oh no! Oh no! Come on, get the spraying, get the spraying, get the spraying! There I go. I ain't sprayed not yet. Welcome to the sound. Okay, there you go. Oh gee, that's one of my fears. A big fear. A lot of fear. I have a lot of fears. <laughs> a lot of fear. I fear a lot, okay? But I still try to live my life, but I, I fear a lot. It is getting so smoky. Smoke covers the entire front yard. A, we yeah. can't imagine how these firefighters can even see what they're doing. At all. Not to mention the I've fact that live here? ammunition keeps right going here? off in the garage. They appear to get the blaze under control. And the I'm not going in there. Live the ammunition keep going off. Pop, 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 According pop. To the owners, the house sustained mostly smoke and water damage since the fire itself was contained to the garage. Yeah. The fire department couldn't determine how the fire started and ultimately ruled it as an accident. 
Ooh, all that gum's going off. Pop, pop, pop. I've been too, I've been too scared to put it out. I'm you know put it out for you. Way back here. So relaxed that you can't help but fall asleep. I don't know where well, that thing is popping off at. He felt when he dozed off by his pool in Greenfield, Massachusetts. He's trying to relax. Let him relax. His ring doorbell camera caught an unexpected guest wandering into his backyard. A black bear walks around the hot tub and checks out the pool. It looks like he dips his paws in Maybe the water, a little bit. but the pool must have it's been small, too cold. It's small, though. It's so cute. Day. Then he sets his sights on Matt Please, and creeps up along me. his lounge chair. The Please bear sniffs me. and then touches Matt's right foot, waking him up from his nap. He grabs his phone, but the bear bolts before he can take a good yeah, pick. Pick it out of there. He's probably thrilled to see that his ring doorbell was still recording. You might not think of black bears when you picture southern New England, but according to the Massachusetts government, there are about 4,500 black bears in the state. Ooh. Most live out west, around towns like Greenfield, oh, but you're they've been beautiful. slowly migrating you are beautiful. east over the years. Look out, Boston. The bears are coming to town. Look if out. you enjoyed this video and want to see another Walked just up like it... Walked up on you. Walked up on you. Okay, you sleep. You can't even relax. You can't relax in your backyard. But that was beautiful. Oh my God. I know he was like, oh, 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 oh. And then to see it on his ring, I know he, I know he was like, yes, I got this. Forever. I got this forever. I like that video. I like that video. Catch you on the next one. See you later. Bye.